In the shop we have a HP Spectre X360 to repair and the customer says it will no longer boot. Upon inspection, the first thing we notice is there's a lot of bulging going on there which tells me that we've got a bad battery. Now when you open it, it doesn't turn on but I don't want to open it right now because the simple little test that I did started heating up the battery. This is a very dangerous situation that you shouldn't take lightly when your battery starts going bad or bulging. It could start a fire that is very difficult to make stop. So let's go ahead and start taking this apart. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reverse these screws out or fasteners. That's one. And then we've got another one over here. That's in there. There you go. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people get wrong on these units is that there's some hidden screws underneath this, these footers here. You're gonna have to lift these with a blade. Go ahead and get yourself a little blade and go underneath there carefully. Now the sweet thing is that if you scratch that underneath there a little bit, nobody's going to be the wiser right now i don't know if these are torx we'll find out here in a second nope those are phillips so we're going to go ahead and change our bit out to phillips Ooh, a lot of pressure on that you know all we want to do is show that screw you don't have to take the whole thing off we'll try to re-glue it if we can't re-glue it we'll remove it all for the customer there it is There you go, see screw there, another screw there. So we're gonna have to just remove this whole bottom one out. That's why you don't wanna pry with force, you pry carefully, and if you feel something hanging, you stop and you reevaluate it. Here she comes, nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't get that screw out. I don't wanna lose it. Put it here in my stack. And put that back there. Whoa, look at that thing bulged up. If we can carefully make sure there's no heat coming off of it. That's what I'm doing there. I just want to be careful. Oh, we have a screw there. So this is why you pry carefully around different things. You just never know where there's going to be a screw hiding out when you're doing these repairs. Don't ever pull hard. You'll break something and... We got a few more Phillips back here. Oh, that one's out. Okay, now see we got that red cable right here. We don't want to, we do not want that to break. And all we need to do is get it away from the from the hooks that it's on. Now oh, here these hooks. That hook is fine. It's this hook here. It's gonna be the uh this hook here.
Uh, there you go. There you go. You push this way. Come up. There you go. Out. Careful. Okay. So we got to do the same thing over here. Push in. Up. Oh, and this one's got tape on there. They really want you to... I don't like that. I don't like that it's got that tape because the last thing you want is for this to pierce. So carefully, let's carefully just cut that tape. Do not cut the wire. Do not cut into the battery. There you go. Now, see if we can't get it from there to there. Beautiful. Now let's see what else is holding it. There you go. There you go, she's coming out now. She's coming out. Now there's gonna be a cable holding it together, which is this cable right here, the power cable. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove it. And battery's completely out. That's a little bit of dangerous work. Look at how bulged that is. Now we just gotta take a picture of the part number and make sure that it's available. And then what we're gonna do is See if we can order one online as a replacement. Tell the customer how much that battery is going to be, plus the installation and repair. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and turn this unit on without the battery to see if it's still working. So we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way carefully. With the power cable plugged in the wall, we're going to go ahead and plug this in here. It's into the power. Now, we don't want this bottom half to touch anything, even though it... This, this desk is grounded, I'm grounded, all that good stuff. We're just going to open it up this way. And then we're going to see if we can't hit the power button. Now it's either on this edge over here, or this, this edge over here. Ooh, I heard a fan. One eternity later. Nice. Absolutely great. So now we have at least this here. The CMOS checksum is invalid. The CMOS will be reset to the default configuration and will be rebooted. All right, do what you got to do. One eternity later. And we're about to boot up. That's awesome. And there you go, guys. That's how we take apart an HP of this type to see what's going on with it. So the plot thickens. HP doesn't sell replacement batteries. This is the BN06XL. And if you want a replacement, supposedly there's a part number there that you can use. Oh, let me turn this around for you. Replace with HP spare and there's your spare part number. Look it up online and they don't have any directly from HP and many like myself probably don't want an aftermarket badly made battery. We, I'd rather buy it directly from the manufacturer but they don't have any. Well, thanks HP. Thanks for selling us a battery that's gonna blow up on you. And then you don't even make replacement parts. We were able to source a battery locally. Here's the part number so that you can have it for your records. It's right there, BN06XL. This is a Dash BTI. This is a Hewlett Packard replacement, according to what I heard. So we're gonna go ahead and use that and uh, install this. We're gonna go ahead and double check the connector against the original battery and make sure that the colors match. Here's the old battery and uh, we've got four or two red, two orange in the middle, two seemingly red or orange in the middle, white, green, black, black. And uh, yeah, it looks close enough for me to say it's it. So now let's go ahead and start installing this guy. We're gonna pop him here. He goes this way. And remember we have these cables here that were very delicate. And we've got this these couple of pins that seem to grab onto here. And then we have the screws. This wire wants to cooperate right away. Look at that. Slide that guy in. 
You can get them in there. There she goes. Come on. Come on. You're about to go in. There you go. Snapped in. Whew. A little scary there. All right, we're going to run that cable right there, right where it belongs. Hey, are you still watching? If you are, do me a favor. Consider subscribing. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. It really helps the channel. I'm here to help you on all of your DIY projects and a lot of your tool purchases and even your tech stuff. Okay, that was not easy to do. Actually, it's probably easier to pop this connector in before you pop the battery in its place. Now we haven't gone ahead and uh, screwed it down. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple screws in. We're not gonna screw the whole thing down. What we wanna see is if this thing will boot up That should be enough, one screw. I'm gonna see if there's any charge in that battery. Let's see if it'll, it'll turn on even a little bit. Beautiful. That's what we wanna see. Now we're gonna go ahead and just shut this off. I'm gonna press and hold the button, just shut it completely off. Now we're going to go ahead and close it. We know we've got power. This little battery is doing good. And now we're going to go ahead and just put in the screws. Alright, now we can go ahead and put the cover back on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and power this guy up. Plug him in, just like that. And we're gonna open it up. Hit the power button. A lot of different noises going on here. There she is, folks. Ready to go. And that's it. That's how you fix this guy right here. Now I just have to write up my invoice.